Forests are critical for fighting climate change and protecting biodiversity, but there's still gaps in our understanding of where these forests are, how they are structured, and how much carbon they are storing. This information is critical to helping us protect and restore them. When the Global Restoration Initiative at World Resources Institute was looking for ways to monitor early stage restoration projects, they found that existing data simply wasn't high resolution enough to pick up small saplings or monitor tree planting at the project level. So we set about solving this. We've partnered with Meta to create the world's first global one meter resolution remote sensing data set. Built using a new groundbreaking foundational AI model, this new data set shows the height of individual trees across the globe. We believe it will revolutionize our understanding of the world's forests and the role they play in defending against the climate and biodiversity crises. And not only have we made all the data open access, but we've also made the underlying AI model free and publicly available, democratizing access to AI technology. This data will be vital as we monitor conservation and restoration projects, increasing our understanding of their carbon benefits and encouraging greater investment in nature-based solutions. For example, here is a restoration site in Ghana where we can see the height of existing trees on farms. These trees not only absorb carbon, they also protect crops and soil, improve water quality, and provide habitat for wildlife. Previous lower resolution data sets provide information at a landscape and regional scale. This new higher resolution data set empowers monitoring at the project scale. We can also understand where trees are growing soon after they're planted. Here, for example, we can see trees that are less than a year old. Previous, lower resolution data sets would not have been able to pick these up until the trees were about three years old. Better monitoring also helps us understand how much carbon these trees are storing and helps encourage greater investment in these projects and communities. There's a huge amount of excitement about the data, but what I find most exciting is the model itself. It demonstrates a new path towards AI-driven earth monitoring, and its potential extends far beyond just monitoring tree canopy height. Anyone can use the free open access model as the foundation for other high resolution geospatial mapping projects like tree counting, boundary identification, and disaster response. You can also update the model with your own data, creating highly localized maps. It's a huge step forward in our mission to monitor the world's land and nature-based carbon and power solutions for a more sustainable future.